And y'all been married for how long? We have been married since 1995. That's that's all. Awesome. No, 1990. 1990 is when we got married. I'm sorry. That's awesome. So was so that 33 30, years? 33 right. years at this point. 32 years. Yeah. That's great. But but we've actually been together since 17. We we went on our first date when I was 16, but uh, we we were still not exclusive until I was 17. Tell us what's the secrets. What's your secrets to a long happy marriage? Because I've seen you two around each other. Y'all obviously still like each other. Yes, we do. <laughs> and that's great. Um, number one, don't get married if there's still secrets. Interesting. It, it, okay. I had a friend, I had a friend in downstate Illinois. I'm going to leave his name out of this. Was just so, so smitten with this girl. Dated her for two years. Had set the date. And then found out that she wanted to raise their kids Jewish. And he okay. was not Jewish. And he said, no, Santa Claus comes to our house. And that was the end of it. Now, which one of them is right? Well, neither of them is right. It doesn't matter. You have to make sure there's no secrets left. You don't that's, want to find out. Yeah, you don't want to find out at the last minute. Yeah, that's a um, big deal. And something you need to resolve or find a different way. Because those those are pretty non-negotiable things. Yes. And like you said, the, one isn't right. The other isn't right. But they might not be right for each other. You know, he, he doesn't want to have kids, but she does or whatever else. All of those things are absolute deal breakers. And if you decide you can get past and we'll work it out. No, it doesn't work out. It really just doesn't. And I, it's unfortunate to look at it from that aspect, but it's true. Now, I would, and parents are about to hate me. I would recommend that you live with your potential spouse for a while as well. Because there's no better people. way to find out all the secrets about each other than to share bills. I've heard a lot of people trot out the statistics that say that if you live with someone before you marry them, your chances of getting divorced are higher. But I mean, I've I've done this and I did get divorced once, but the second time we've been together for 13 years, married for six, going on seven of that and happy as could be. And we were able to figure out a lot of things up front. By the time you were married and had no legal choice but to share bills, you already knew that you both wanted the bills to be for the same things. Yes. You yes. see? <laughs> yes. Um, Mars and I lived together for 11 years. <laughs> but <laughs> her dad but was going to say, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but uh, that kind of practical advice when it comes to relationships, that's good stuff. And you touched on a good one right there. Several good ones. Well, and, uh, and Other than that, just communication. The fights that my wife and I have had, and trust me, there's been a few rocks in the stream, but they're always communications related. I thought you said this. No. So you really don't believe this? No. Then why are we fighting? Okay, not not me. I'm not actually not actually fighting. You're just engaging in elder abuse now. You know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, communications is critical. The other thing is, I I don't know how critical. What do I want to call that? Attractiveness is that you'll be just absolutely attracted to someone. You need to be attracted to someone, but beauty can fade with time, except that if you really care for somebody, it tends not to. For whatever reason, it, it, it's like fine wine. It ages with you, you know, so. And to add to that, take nothing away from that, from that, that's a great point, is that say you're a person who your greatest value is I want the hottest man or woman I can get. Say you get, say you succeed. Say you get that hottie. You get that early 90s Cindy Crawford. Um, <laughs> okay. The fact that you get that one, you're still going to notice there's other hot people out there. Yes. So and did you really select for the right thing? Yeah. Because you're still going to want the beauty that those others have. So you're right. It's important that, that you like looking at the person you're with, but the more important part, at least in my opinion, sounds like yours. I, I occasionally is get the person. I occasionally get chatted up at shows still by by women. Okay, well, I mean, I have I seen know, you. Weird, in it's weird, but it's it's true. And it, my son was nearby one time, and he's like, "Dad, she was hitting on you." Yeah. Well, you can introduce me. I was like, "Well, son, I didn't even think in that direction. I'm sorry, but well, <laughs> why weren't you interested?" I said, "Hun, I got underwear older than her." <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, I know that doesn't mean much to you at the tender age of 25, but believe me when I tell you, it, it makes a difference. 
I, I, I really don't want to go back to women who don't know what they want from life. I don't. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to back you up if you need. Yes, son, I understand. That. But, Appreciate it. Appreciate it. By the way, it's I have a like... single son. Ladies, if you, he's employed, knows how to fix his own car. 6'2", he's a big boy. It's, you know, anyway. He comes from good parents. I've met him. Alexis, you know, okay. <laughs> so did you think when you came into this interview with Chris Clark, the man who's connected to everybody, that you're also going to get solid relationship advice? Because I told you, the guy knows something about everything. And that was good advice. He's not steering you wrong. 